Democratic Party is not even going to conduct a real primary. They're not going to have debates. And we've already gone through this portion of it so many times. I almost feel like I'm looking for like that punked video, that hidden camera to see if see if I'm being, you know, trapped on a different camera. Because re- <laughs> reality is, you know, I give everyone a pass, including myself, for Bernie part one. We were all believers. We all thought we had a chance. There's a few people out there saying, you're never going to get him in there. They're never going to let you, blah, blah, blah. They proved it correct, right? They, they And they went to court to show you how they were going to block future efforts to primary what the establishment wants as its nominee. They've already shown you the playbook. They've gone through this in court. So this is not new. If you don't know about this, if you didn't pay attention to the Democratic uh, National Committee's fight in Florida against the lawsuit that was brought against the party for basically stealing the election from Bernie Sanders and not representing the voters well, not representing the Democrats, not representing the donors well, blah, blah, blah. But to literally see that they came through the door and they said, we're A, a private corporation. B, we have no responsibility whatsoever to even conduct a primary. We have no, there's no legal responsibility to honor the outcome. And we're not going to, we don't, we don't need to, we have no need to. Okay. That was after part one. We learned all that with Bernie part one. Then a lot of us who stuck with Bernie trying to get the messaging out there kind of acknowledged that but kind of the other half of our brain wouldn't allow us to, to acknowledge that there was always somebody there trying to tell us that, Oh, don't give up hope. Bernie's still true. Blah, blah, blah. Had nothing to do with Bernie's value or human traits or his positions on anything had nothing to do with anything to do with Bernie Sanders whatsoever. It literally had everything to do with the system that he was trying to run for a nomination within. Okay. The system itself, regardless of whether it's a bunch of really, really bad corporate Democrats primarying Joe Biden or whether it's really good ones, it doesn't matter. In the end, the superdelegates and, and just in general, the party as a whole has the right to choose who its nominee is, period. They can use the primary process if they'd like. There is no legal requirement under the sun for them to honor the outcomes. Now, if you don't understand that, I feel like you maybe are living in a very, very small childish world. If that, what I said right there didn't make you understand what I'm talking about, if that alone didn't penetrate your brain, then I'm very concerned because a lot of people are like you. If you didn't do it, I see a lot of people that still haven't grasped that the Democratic Party has no responsibility whatsoever. None. Zero.